Okay, so this <clears throat> tutorial is going to take us through the process of creating uh, project number one, which is the single switch and a light. So let me just quickly take you through this uh, little diagram, and this is, will be located clipped to the front of your um, the front of your wiring trainer here. So essentially what's going to happen is a cable is going to come in from the source, which of course is uh, in a regular household situation, your electrical box in your house, and it's going to come into a uh, electrical box that will wire into a switch, a single pole switch in this case. You can see that your black wire from the Romex will connect here to the bottom of the switch, then the other side of the wire will connect to another piece of Romex, that black wire, and that will go up to a light. Now the lamp post or the light up here also has a white wire to it. Of course you have a hot and a neutral. The way the neutrals work is the neutral from the power source will be uh, wire nutted to the white wire or the neutral wire going up to the light post and then of course your neutral will be connected to the light post and we'll show you how to do that in just a second and then what we're going to have this this is actually a little bit uh, misleading this particular diagram um, you're going to do what's called a pigtail, and I'm going to show you that uh, when we show you how to connect uh, the light switch to the, uh, to the model here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we are going to go ahead and focus in on this lamp post. So if we tilt up and zoom in here, the lamp post should already have these two screws uh, mounted in there for you. We do that just to save time. Um, you're going to have a piece of Romex and the piece of Romex is not stripped at all yet so we're going to go ahead and uh, take care of that here in just a second and when you strip the Romex just as a reminder of course you always want to have your safety glasses on so don't forget about that that way when the ocean inspector comes in for their surprise inspection we won't have an issue okay so your Romex strippers that's this tool right here there's different ways to do it, but this is considered a pretty safe way for a beginner to do it. It's got the little shark tooth on it. So what you're going to do is, again, as we talked about already, you're going to take your finger and go down to the base of your thumb like this. That's a pretty good length. So it gives you about, depending on the size of your hand, about four to six inches. So we're going to go ahead and take this wire, get on the little groove there. We're going to go ahead and just squeeze and pull, and that's going to give it a little score, just like that. Peel it back. Again, you got about four to six inches. Make sure I pull the cable back here. Take my linesman's pliers, and I'm going to go ahead and trim this up. Okay, so you should have already done this in a previous exercise so we've got our hot our neutral and our ground wire okay we're going to do that quickly to the other side as well again slip that over pull it with a score like that pull it down make sure you don't cut the ground wire on this that would be a problem now, you, if you have any electrical wiring experience at all, you've seen it done. Some electricians, many electricians, will use different methods than using this wire stripper, or this Romex stripper. So that's not the only way to do it. Okay, so now, in order to um, make this happen, we're going to start always, um, in this case, in this lab, we're going to start with our lamp post. And when we start with the lamp post, what I'm going to do is there's these little... Um, little tabs and I'm going to kind of swing around here with the camera so you can see these little tabs here allow the Romex to stay nice and tight so this one's already been busted out so I'm going to take my uh, Romex and I'm going to go ahead and put it through here now one of the things I like to do with this wall is um, I like to use the holes here so there's some holes in the wall I'm going to go ahead and take it through like that carefully bend it up and up through this hole up here. There we go. This would be very similar to what you'd see in a regular residential wiring project. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring some extra in and I'm going to bring it up through the back. Like so. Go ahead and pull this tight. 
you want to have at least a quarter inch of Romex sheathing inside that tab. Okay, that is what the code stands uh, calls for. So, when let's say for the sake of argument that this is as far as I get in the class that particular hour and the bell's about to ring. So, last couple minutes of class, what you can do is just kind of tuck that in there. As a matter of fact, if you're doing this on a real job site, you would actually uh, do this. Um, when you do all what we call the rough end phase with the Romex going through the walls and then your drywallers would come in go ahead and cover your wall and then you'd finish wiring up after they're done so anyway this is how we get the process started now to actually wire up the lamp post here's the way we do that to wire up the lamp post I'm going to take my bag and in this case I have uh, set 1B yours is going to correspond with whatever hour and whatever kit you have I'm going to take my lamp post here, and on the back of the lamp post you see there's a gold screw and there's a set of white screws. The gold is where the hot or the black is going to go, and then the, uh, the silver screw is the where the white is going to go, or the neutral. So to prepare to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip my wires, use my wire strippers, you should have already done this on another exercise. Go ahead and find the 14. I'm going to strip about a half inch off, just like that. Again, making sure that I use my waste basket to clean up any extra clippings that are laying around. Okay. And it's a good idea when you're done with the wire strippers, make sure you lock them up. That way they don't spring open on you. Okay, so now that that's there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle nose pliers. I'm going to bend my hot and my neutral around to the right just like so and then to connect them what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my you can do them in either order make sure I have my screwdriver ready in this case I'll use the flathead screwdriver or the slotted it's also called and when you put this on you want to make sure that you, um, that you put it around clockwise or to the right. If you zoom in here, you're going to see that I'm going to have this around to the right side. It's very, very important that you go clockwise. That way, when you tighten up your screw, that tightens up that connection, just like that. And what you want to do is you want to pull and put a little bit of pressure on I always hold it with my thumb too. Be careful you don't slip the screwdriver off of the screw and go into your thumb. Okay, it's nice and tight. I'm going to do the same thing with my hot wire. And there you have it. Okay, so you have your hot wire or black, you have your white wire or your neutral and then we've got this ground wire there well what do we do with that on some lamp holders you have a ground screw now this one doesn't so what you're gonna do what a lot of electricians will do is they'll take that they'll put a wire nut on the top of it go ahead and tighten it down like so and then they'll carefully coil it all the way in the back like that because you do not want the ground wire touching any of these posts. If you do, you're going to have a short circuit. Then, I'm going to carefully coil this up, line it up with my holes here, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it. Now, this particular one has a broken tab, okay? So, we're going to replace this one, but yours should have two tabs that are, that are still one piece. And that, I'm going to go ahead and turn that down tighten it up and the reason that happened was somebody over tightened these so you just want to snug it up until it you just feel it touch that like that and then there you have it so again this one is loose that should be this whole thing should be replaced but that is the way it should look okay and that is how you wire up a lamp holder so if this is the end of class this would be a good place to stop and you go ahead and uh, wait till the next class period to focus in on wiring up your switch